Hey, it's Pixel Tommy, or Doom Lost Lines. It's me, Spyco Tons of here. Come back to another video. In this video, I am, well, making the, um, SAO characters and, well, turned SAO characters into Sans, aka Demonic Hunters. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video, and let's roll on through, and let's go. <laughs> Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay. Some more demonic. Well, I've learned more demonic hunters. Matter of fact, <clears throat> I, um, quite a few, but I've learned of a quite interesting figure of a demonic hunter. This one is. Well, he's the last one I'm talking about today. But first, the relatively better ones. Title, Demonic Hunter. Name, Kazuto Kitagaya, or he also goes by nickname of Kirito. Demon is Dual Blade or Wrath Demon, also known as Kiritrox. Kiritrox, like the name suggests, has two blades on his arms. But he's also able to morph them around his body, but he prefers to keep them on his back like, a, um, like an X. And he draws them forward. Pretty much making the tendrils detach and retach right in front of his arms. And then do the same thing with the back one. Demons are weird. Um, Kirito, Kirito, um, well, Kazuto. He has some interesting abilities. Like a starburst stream that, which is more or less a very powerful light attack. That the demon can't use. The demon, um, what was it? Kiritrox was actually surprised they managed to learn how to do something like that with demon demon abilities. Now, what I mean by the demon being surprised is because the demon is actually locked away in your mind. Every now and again, it might be able to peek through and get little glimpses into your life, but if you're actually able and strong enough will, you can actually bond with the demon it's very very rare and very powerful but there's also a few people that can turn on and off their dem their demonic form it's a very rare and very interesting technique and ability it's also very powerful but god Zato has a girlfriend that goes by awesome never caught her last name but I'm going about her in a second. Now, for the record, oh, the only demonized parts of him are his arms, which go from his elbow to his right below his wrist or so. Across his eyes are like a bandana. His legs, well, not his full legs, but somewhere around his knees. And, um, that's pretty much it. Now he has a he is able to somewhat turn off his on off his demonized form. Just really to get the pants on. They always end up getting ripped. So he's constantly wearing pairs he've he's cleaned before. And demons have well, how do you put this? Destroyed quite a few buildings, so and a few cities. So yeah. Now let's get to the next one. Okay, this next one is someone, well, is the someone I was talking about earlier. Um, Asuna. Title, Demonic Hunter. Name, Asuna. Demon, Envious Lightning Demon. A.K. Trixina. Trixina, well, weirdly enough, for this one, um, the reason why Asuna managed to bond with this, well, really kill this demon, demon was because well the only reason why it was coming after Asuna was because it was envious of um her having Kito. I don't really know why that is but just how it worked the demon tried to possess her and for her to break up with Kito, she managed to fight off the demon in her head and managed to well kill the demon 
after just getting rid of it out of her head, she drew in its weakened form. She managed to drive a stake through its heart and decapitated it. And then she unknowingly absorbs its very essence. So let's just say that it may not become a pretty good ally of hers. Now, let's just say that for now. But she is not really even close to being as demonized as anyone else I've seen. Matter of fact, her um, skin is a lighter red than I've usually seen. Her eyes haven't changed color like some others, and only parts of her that are demonized are her, are her, is her back. All demons end up getting wings. Even demonic hunters get wings. And her, what was it? If I remember correctly, right arm is demonized. It's also fairly bulkier than it appears and also, it's a, it has a, weirdly enough, a rapier attached to it. Now, this one is just a firm standing, sitting there. Very rarely can she move it. It's because the demon really only moves it around. And, her, and that biology of the demon really doesn't work for it. But, yeah... And also, before you ask, yes, there are other types of demons, but there's only one of these demons. I'll just be saying, whenever there's multiple, I would say with an S A N, like um, cre like Trixinus, but there's only one Trixina. The so n that means for every individual demon. That tells you that just how powerful they are. They've most likely killed all their kin, aka um, relatives or other members of their demon species. So, yeah, just being a singular demon might mean they're quite weak, but in reality, that means they're quite strong. Let's get to the next one. Okay, for this next one, I'm looking at someone named Klein. A demonic hunter, and as weirdly enough, this demon is the prideful katana demon known as Blazatrix. Now, Blazatrix gets his name from the fact that he literally controls Hellfire. A lot of demons can control, but not as well as Blazatrix. He's mostly known to engulf his katana blade, which is always mounted onto his um, left, right arm. Constantly, and funny enough for Klein, that's the only part of him, uh, his upper body that is, well, upper chest area. It's the only other limb. This is the only arm that is demonized, well, correctly. Now, his upper head is nearly perfectly fine, other than his hair, like his forehead and up a little. Like halfway between his forehead and up it is demonized. It's actually flaming hair now. Which is actually something that um Blazatrix doesn't have. More or less has um fire floating off of his head. Doesn't really have it on his head. You know, Blazatrix's eyes well Klein has them. And other than that, his feet are the only on the other parts are demonized. Now, he has a arm. Now, his arm does resemble that of um, some pretty interesting armor. But, here's the weird bit. <clears throat> here's the weird bit. Klein was wearing his samurai armor for some reason. When, the, when he managed to kill the demon. I'm pretty sure he was practicing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just got information. Turns out Klein was practicing um, his sword fighting. He just prefers to wear his um, samurai armor. It's not really a full samurai armor. It's just more or less base armor. And when he killed the demon and absorbed its essence without knowing. <clears throat> sorry. Let's just say that he... The demon kind of tried to take him over before... 
without noting, but he had more control of his body than the demon would think. He managed to defeat the demon and literally nearly kill it and lock it away within his own mind. It doesn't affect the soul at all. It just really, really, really doesn't like the demon. And let's just say that him locking away that demon scared pretty much nearly everyone else. Except for Kito, who managed to lock away it. Who literally nearly... Who was literally managing to bond with a far, 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 far more powerful demon than anyone else they have in this area. But there are other still stronger people with the demon, with other demons. Well, let's just go to another one that nearly managed to defeat Kretrox and Kajito. Title is sadly Demonic Hunter. I've been hoping to walk away this guy for years. Name Nobuyuki Sugo. Sugo Yu. <clears throat> demon Lustful Flight Demon Laton. Laton is like the name suggests. He has the sin of lust and let's just say. This guy really wanted Asuna, and when I say wanted, I mean he was lusting after her. So, that pretty much gave the demon a gateway into him, into his mind. But, since this guy is by far one of the more demonized I've seen, he sadly, his soul is being corrupted by the demon. He knows this and doesn't really care. Now, when I say last time, they nearly managed to defeat Kazuto and Kiritox, and Kiritox. But I mean that I wasn't kidding. He nearly managed to. He managed to manipulate gravity within a certain room and pretty much mash him down and make him stuck there. But, Ka, but thanks to um, um, Kiritox temporarily giving him a boost of strength, he managed to get up and pretty much end this version of him. When I say version, I mean it was like a clone, but he could feel every amount of pain that, um, when I say he, the real guy managed to feel all the mouth pain. But once he, now how do I put this, he had an interesting ability to separate all the temporarily and have full control over it. His demonized parts but still retained his red skin but far lighter. Now for his demonized parts. His entire, nearly his entire arms like only a little bit up to his shoulders. And his legs are demonized. And his head as well. Just nose and mouth are the only bits that aren't demonized. He had, the rest of his, his hair is now solid, but nearly gold horns, and they're fool's gold, going for the fact it was trying to be somewhat resembling a king. Now, let's just say, he does have wings, but they're far, they're pretty interesting. Um, he has four wings, two on each side. And also, for the record, um, Blazer Tricks doesn't have wings, so Klein didn't get any either. But, let's just say, Kito, um, I mean, Gazito, managed to beat this guy, and both that version of him, which severely injured the real one, and managed to beat the living crap out of the other one. When he managed to, well, when the real one found him. And for the record, he does have a, um, a blade attached to one of his, his right arm again. Really hate this gun. I'm happy Kirito beat the crap out of him. Let's just, that's all for today anyways.
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video because that's all the time I got for today. Until next time, subscribe to Adrian to join the Spiker Army or do my thoughts. Goodbye and peace out, everyone.